listen. It's peace and quiet here in the Irish countryside. We might hear in the distance maybe the slight roar of the nearby highway, but basically it is quiet. Imagine being here 5,000 years ago, 3,200 BC. Ireland will have looked very different, covered in forests. People just started selling here. Actually, they were selling here already for a few thousand years, all the way back to 7,000 BC. And they were farming this land, carving out the forests. For some reason, these people decided to build huge structures. This, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the oldest monuments in the entire world. Welcome to Newgrange, Ced Melafaucha. This is one of the oldest buildings, monuments in the entire world. This is Newgrange. And today we're going to walk around for about 10 minutes around this age. How it looks like. Now, a lot of this is recreation, uh, restoration done in the past century, but you get a sense of how it used to look like back then. But these stones are indeed authentic. Here we see ancient megalithic artwork. Now, as I said, Ireland used to have a very different landscape back then. Right now, we're located in County Meath. County Meath is maybe about 45 minutes away from, from Dublin, which is nice. And look at these beautiful landscapes. So I don't have too much time. So let me show you the most important site over here. Hey, how's it going? Right over here, we have the main passageway. Herb stones with the megalithic art and here on every day on the winter solstice the sun shines directly from the horizon down there all the way through inside and it leaves for 17 minutes was its maximum back when they originally built it leaves a perfect streak of light all the way to the very end of the passageway. Inside, there are people buried here that predate the Celts because the Celts came here, according to most historians, 500 BC. Now here we have the standing stones that were around it. So a little bit later, about a few thousand years later, actually, the people who proceeded well along these uh, Neolithic people decide to build a huge wood henge. So there was a huge wooden structure that surrounded this entire mound all around. Of course, that wood doesn't survive. The only thing that survives is the stone. 
Now people thought literally this was a just a regular old mound. That's a photo about 100 years ago, and that's when they found the Grand Passageway. Now this is how it looks like inside. There's actual passageway and leads to what became a burial area. Lots of other artifacts were found in here. Uh, the people buried here are not Celt. Uh, they are pre-Celt. Uh, so Celts were 500 BC. This is even before. And Mark, we don't know for sure. If it was a cult, it might have been a very long-lasting cult. Um, this was built over the course of hundred, hundreds plus a year. I'm not sure how long exactly it took them to construct. Christine, thank you so much for the 100 stars. I appreciate you. It gives you shivers being, this is the closest we are to our ancients. Yeah, yeah. This is the closest we are to our ancients. All right, let's get close. We, can go, we can't go inside, it's closed right now because of COVID. Um, so we have to stick to the outside. We've got too much time. But I'll show you how it looks like inside. Here's a perspective. Here's a series of photos from their exhibition center that shows you how it looks like inside. So you can get a sense. Hey, Ariel, nice to see you here. Welcome. Now, there was a fascinating discovery made recently where they did a DNA test on an individual that's buried here. And they found out that his DNA was um, had a few defects. And it was because both of his parents were very close in in relation, either mother, I mean, either father and daughter, or mother and son, or sister and brother. So this denotes, this might indicate who's buried inside. Why? Because, of course, we know for most of world history across many different civilizations, the royalty used to practice close relations with very close relatives in order to maintain bloodlines. Now this is speculation, no one knows for sure, but a lot of people have been speculating that the person buried in there was some type of Neolithic royal. Hey, how's it going? Bye, nice. Yeah, I suppose um, it's lovely when the trolleys are going in and out to make them work to each other. Search not day or night where you were. Do you see it? Do you see where you were? The people up on top. Thanks. Do you see the people up on top? That's where you were. The other two. Oh, sorry. Were there any uh, fairy legends associated with? Are you recording? I am indeed. Yeah. No, it's okay. Yeah. That was very interesting. 
very, very interesting. John, for the 99 stars. Okay, so of course being this outdoors and all and pretty much open viewable by the public, they allow filming, but I asked the woman, uh, one of the guides, is there any fairy legends? She immediately knew I was recording and she asked me, of course, if you heard it, uh, are you recording? And I said, yeah, of course. And she's like, no, very seriously. Uh, I have an intuition. If I would have asked her any other question, she would have just answered it. But here in Ireland, people are very secret secretive about fairy legends. Uh, not that many people talk about them publicly. And there are quite a few associated with these burial mounts. I'm not sure what, what she knows that she did not want to say publicly. So, very interesting. Hey, Ariel, thank you so much for 100 stars. I appreciate it. That's a wee hill little to climb, yes. Wendy says secrets, indeed. Now, there are accounts on YT from a few people who do talk about them. And this was involved in Celtic, Celtic mythology as well. Uh, so there's a few Celtic myths. And now I gotta head back. So let me tell you this real quick. Jade, thank you so much for the 200 stars. Superstition maybe, that, that could be a, a, a case, yeah. So Newgrange, the oldest site, oldest monument in the world, one of the oldest at least. People still think that they can find even older ones. There's one apparently in County Sligo that they think is older. So this is indeed in Celtic legend. As I mentioned, these are not Celts. These pre-de Celts, Celts by 3,200 plus 500 years, 3,700 years, or a little bit less actually, 2,600 years. So it pre predates the Celts by quite a while. But the Celts had legends with this. Uh, apparently one dealing with a brother and sister, I think, that fell in love. And haunts this place. Something along those lines. Don't quote me on that. Um, so it's very interesting that uh, they didn't want to mention anything about the legends at all. But I bet they can be found online. So everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Brenda says in private she might have said something. Uh, she might have said it. She did, doesn't want to say it out loud. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I got to head out. This is New Grange, absolutely magical site. I'm blown away by it. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to lend your support, go to patreon.com slash urbanist and uh, check Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Slangofon, everyone. Bye for now. Bye-bye. From the oldest place on earth.